There's no stopping us right now I feel so close to you right now Hello GBS, I'm your host Josh Pat, and welcome to the Glenbrook South Report. In our final episode of the school year, we have some exciting news about the events, activities, and clubs here at GBS. In today's episode, we will be featuring stories about the spring play, GBS's very own fashion magazine Stitched, and the Public Art Collaborative. In our first story, we dive into this year's spring play, The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street. We're here in the SAO Courtyard. It's a live audience. Uh, the audience is basically sitting all around us. The Twilight Zones uh, is a show where they deal with moral um, quandaries in 20 minute segments. And we took one of those episodes um, called The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street. And yeah. we basically, the director took that script, yep. made it into a booklet, and uh, uh -huh. we're performing it. Yeah. It was kind of difficult adapting like a TV show to a uh, play because, you know, in a TV show, you can have a character go from like the streets to their house in an instant. You just cut. Uh, you can't cut in a play. So we kind of had to like work around the episode and rewrite stuff so they c that it could all work in like one location in like outside. It just has been very nice to at least have this chance at all, and I think finding a creative way to do that in this, you know, COVID-19 weird bubbleness um, has been very, uh, just a very good experience. Now, let's take a look into the spring issue of Stitched. Stitched is the fashion photography club at GBS. Um, we just focus on creating two issues throughout the school year where we like showcase different um, shoots and models and art styles. We honestly don't have a major theme that we go by every single issue, but we usually want to kind of curate our work in a way that represents like the seasons almost. So we want to do something that's lighter and brighter through the spring season while maybe we do some, something more darker with more contrast and dramatic effects during the winter season. The process of creating a magazine, we have four phases. The planning phase, we kind of start coming together as a club again and we decide what we want to do all together. Then we have a shooting phase. All the ideas are down. All the photographers are working with the models and the stylists to bring all of our photos together. And then the phase we are in right now, which is this, the graphics space, focusing on editing and doing layouts. And then when it's all printed out and made, we are sending it out to people, publishing it, passing it out in school when we can. I think a really big thing about creating a magazine is making sure that every single detail is hashed out. From the lead photographer to the assistant who comes in for 30 minutes helping out on a shoot, every single person helps out. Um, and contributes to making this what, what Stitched is. I think my favorite part of Stitched is just being able to work with other people and being able to be very creative with other people's styles because it gives me like new insight and a different point of view of the kind of what people want to look like. For our final package, we explore the Public Art Collaborative's newest project, which aims to thank healthcare workers. This project is kind of just a thank you to all the people who's really helped in this pandemic, especially nurses and doctors, you know? I just really hope that it lets healthcare workers know that they're appreciated. Um, the statement is a smile from us to you. So, I mean, just that itself, in itself just lets them know that they're appreciated. And there's also little tags in the fence that uh, has little thank you notes from students at the school. It really came out of nothing. We kind of came up with this idea and help to get it where it is. We kind of reached out to other people in the club and classes about whether or not they wanted to do a background. And from there we had spray paint and other meetings that we kind of put together for people to join and like spray paint murals together. And from there we kind of just zip tied and put it together on the fence. So far lots of cars have been kind of slowing down and taking a peek and seeing what's going on. This is, this is very, um, it's very big and it's very bold too, it's kind of what we wanted to go for. This is only our second project this year. We, we started um, during second semester. Our first project was a sticker mural right outside the library. It's really nice to do something for the like, community before I leave for college. And it's kind of nice that I like, did something that was fun for me, but it's also, it means a lot more to other people than it did to me too. That's all the stories we've got for this month. Thank you for tuning in to GBSR, and we'll see you in the fall.